Right, hopefully you'll be able to see that picture fine. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, right, so we've got the uh, the collet with the hair poking out all the way through. Now I could cut it off top and bottom, but I've still got a piece of hair that's going through there, it's not too great. Maybe it put in there when it was made, maybe not. Maybe it was repaired before. Anyway, the point is, I'm going to need to get this hair pin, uh, hairspring <clears throat> off the balance wheel to get that hair out. And what I've done is I've just supported it on this piece of metal um, here. Um, it's about three mil thick. It's just so the other side of the um, the staff that's going through the middle isn't uh, bottoming out on the paper there because of the impulse jaw would probably get damaged. Anyway, to um, Back to removing this. Anyway, what I found is probably the easiest way is getting a couple of blades, a couple of blades like this, um, underneath the collar, and then just with a kind of twisting motion is work it up, and it should just pop straight off, hopefully without damaging it. So uh, let's give this a whirl. Okay, without trying to damage that hairspring. Okay. Right, there's one underneath. And then, oh. get that underneath the collar and then just prise it up ever so slightly, not too much because it'll just ping away. You could put a piece of plastic over the top to stop that happening. I'm pretty sure that's going to go all right. And then, there we go. And up and off. And there it is, there's your uh, hairspring. Comes straight off your, uh, your balance wheel. So now, I should be able to get whatever hair is on there has gone through. It might be stuck on here. I can't see it right now. But that's how you remove the hairspring from your balance staff.